Right, we're going to open higher this morning. Green on the left-hand side of your screen. That means we're rallying at the opening bell. That may come as a surprise. David Barnson joins us now. David, I think we've got an explanation here for why the market's up on a day like this. And the explanation is there's a mountain of money coming straight at Wall Street, straight at the economy. Have we got it right? Well, I think that that uh, stimulus and additional uh, spending that is likely to come out of the Biden administration has been well known and been priced into markets for some time. Honestly, a big part of the reason the market wouldn't go down after a day as disturbing and upsetting as yesterday is that it wasn't a market sensitive event. There isn't anything that hits at either short term, let alone longer term corporate profits. So for the most part, I really think most of us need to stop being so surprised when markets don't respond to news events because that's getting investors in trouble. This is the norm that markets have a mind of their own. They are pretty diligently focused on corporate profits and do a much better job than we all do, ignoring the other noise. So does the market think that corporate profits will be strong and the economy strong with the Democrats holding all power in D.C., the House, the Senate, the White House? Well, they sure do, but, Stuart, they don't hold all power. It's a 50-50 Senate with Vice President Harris breaking the tie, three moderate Democrat senators, and a House majority that is razor thin. So it's still a very, very divided situation that's going to have a lot of horse trading and a lot of gridlock. But corporate profit growth was huge coming out of the financial crisis. And yes, there was a Democrat in office there. This is much more nonpartisan than we think. And I say that as a very conservative Republican. Corporate America, the whole reason we believe in free enterprise is because it has the ingenuity to make money regardless of headwinds like difficult politicians. I think profits are going to grow because we're coming out of a difficult time and it's time to get the American economy going again. Does this, the events of yesterday, the traumatic events of yesterday, does it set back the conservative cause? Oh, in a sense it does. And what I mean by that is for a movement conservative like myself, uh, I know you believe in the principles of the American experiment. Of course, it doesn't alter those things. But pragmatically, it's a very, very bad look. The, the, the um, left wing media is going to use it for all they can as a stain on all of us, as unfair as that may be. But the fact of the matter is it was an awful event. And all any of us who are real conservatives can do is condemn it in unambiguous terms. Got it. David Barnson, thanks very much for being with us. I'm sorry it's short. I've got to get to the opening of the market because it's a very big day. Mr. Barnson, always a pleasure. Come back soon. Thanks very much indeed.